Philanthropy allowed me to make my idea a reality. It's allowed us to get federal funding to really develop the building blocks for studies in the future. It's had direct impact in not just our patient care, but our community, I think. I received the Catalyst Award to enable me to pursue the idea of doing legacy projects for patients with cancer who are terminal. By the time that I came to her for the legacy project, we're told my dad was at stroke level, and I just thought about my mom. What can he do for my mom? We have the option of making a fingerprint locket. They can make an actual life-size hand casting. They could do a short video, and they could also do a recordable book. All that is possible because of philanthropy. You just gotta have something to hold on to. But his fingerprints have touched my heart. Centers of Excellence provide seed funds for us to explore exciting new ideas and to do the preliminary work that we need to do to get federal funding. We have been working on genetics and genomics of atrial fibrillation. We're collecting blood from patients and we take their white blood cells and we reprogram them into stem cells. Then we have developed conditions to make them grow into feeding heart muscle cells. I've been Dr. Chung's patient over 20 years now. I have quite a variety of cardiac issues. We just gave blood. That's all that we did, and it's amazing what they can do with that. It runs in her family, and she has a daughter that is at risk. We have taken her blood cells and made them grow into heart muscle cells so that we can study her specific problem and hopefully come up with some medications that might help her and her daughter in the future and they can figure out how to not give her an ablation or have to do any of the things that I've done. I mean, it's for my baby. ERAS, short for Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, is a program designed to make the surgery and recovery process easier for a patient. So things that we changed were avoiding opioids pretty much all together, blocking the pain before they get it so we don't have to chase it and using some changes in our anesthesia that avoid opioids and allow the patients to basically eat right after surgery and get up and go. I was afraid because I've never had surgery like this before. Major surgery, five hours. What was enormously appealing was a pain-free experience, which in my mind is nothing short of miraculous. Through philanthropy, we've been able to advance this program quite a bit. We've been able to develop the full-time position for our ERAS coordinator, who's been very helpful in us expanding our program to the different specialties. The care coordinator is a very critical part of the whole process. The pre-education really gave me a security that, wow, this is going to not be as bad as I thought. With the opiate crisis that we have today, if we can get patients up and out the door without using any opiates, that's pretty incredible stuff. Research won't get done without people donating and helping. We need philanthropy to help this keep going, to help patients at the bedside. It's because of philanthropy that I can be there for patients and offer them an opportunity to express themselves through art. When the team sees someone willing to give funds like this, it reinforces the importance of what they're doing. It's the most marvelous thing you could do. It's the kind of thing that's changing lives every day. Mm -hmm.